vegan vegetarian snack that's made out of chickpeas and coconut and different spices. And in fact, today I'm going to dedicate this recipe to my former singing teacher who's no longer with us. Her name is Vijaya Venkatacharya. She also had the same name as me and she taught me so much about singing but I just remember every Navratri when I would go to her house she would prepare sundal and the one addition that I will never forget is her addition of green mango which I'm doing in today's recipe as well so this is dedicated to her trying not to get emotional okay um, as always the recipe is located down below in the information box I know you guys always ask don't forget to click the little bell button underneath um, that will notify you anytime I post a video as well I have a whole bunch of social media channels you guys and I want to be friends with you so follow me down below I'm gonna link them all below let's get started so for this sundal, we're using chickpeas, and I'm using dried chickpeas, which is really important. You can use the canned variety, but I find reconstituting dried chickpeas lends for a better flavor at the end. So I just soak these overnight in a little bit of water, and this is just gonna go into a pressure cooker. Now the reason I'm using a pressure cooker is because it'll cook the chickpeas a lot faster, but if you don't have a pressure cooker at home, don't worry about it. You can just cook it in a normal pot uh, for about an hour until they get nice and tender. So, lid on, I'm gonna turn on the heat, and this is gonna cook for four whistles, or for about 10 to 15 minutes until they're super tender. So I just drained my chickpeas, they're nice and tender now, and you'll see some of the skins have separated from the chickpeas, which is totally fine, and now they're ready for our sundal. I have a pan that's nice and hot, I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil, and we're gonna begin our seasoning. So in a lot of South Indian dishes, we begin our seasoning with some black mustard seed and urad dal, and this is just gonna add some lovely crunchy texture to our sundal, and you just wanna Cook these until the urad dal pops, or sorry, the mustard pops and the urad dal browns a little bit. And you can already start to see them sizzle up. Now that it's nice and brown, I'm just gonna add a touch of asafoetida and my green chilies, as well as my dry red chilies and, yikes, <laughs> my curry leaves. And you hear all that crackling going on. Oh, it smells amazing. Now in goes the chickpeas. And you want your heat nice and high for this. Because you want them to get slightly crispy on the outside. I'm going to season with a touch of salt. And you want to let this go on high because you want to get rid of any excess moisture that's in the pan that came from the chickpeas and you want to give them a nice roast. So don't hesitate to put that flame up nice and high. So now you can start to hear the sizzle in the pan which means a lot of the moisture has escaped. And now the finishing touch for any swindle is the addition of some freshly grated coconut. Now, I have a great video on my channel on how to cut a coconut or break a coconut in half and remove its flesh, so go ahead and check that video out. I'll link it down below because you want that fresh coconut in there to just set everything off and how gorgeous does that look? It's done! Now you can serve the sundal just like this, but I like to go a little over the top and this is my mom's secret addition. This is green mango, you guys. So this is the hard green mango that you can get at the grocery store. It's unripe and it has a beautiful sour flavor and is super crunchy. And you wanna chop that as finely as possible. So I'm just gonna go down once this way, once again. And you wanna do a super fine dice. And the great thing about adding this green mango in here is that, you know, the flavor of the coconut is super rich. You have the spiciness from the chilies. It's very aromatic. This just adds a beautiful crunch, a little bit of acidity. I know a lot of recipes call for lemon, but I love, love, love green mango in this. Beaut! That's amazing. And this all goes in here. Be generous. Fold it through. Amazing! I feel like I'm back in India. Let's give it a taste. Here goes. Mmm. Mmm. I love sundal. It's something that I grew up eating. You have the creaminess of the chickpeas, the nuttiness of the coconut, 
And for me, the kicker is the combination of the green chili and green mango. That is a classic pairing in South India. And you really can't go wrong in this. Is slightly spicy, <laughs> slightly spicy and aromatic, but again, you can adjust the spiciness to your liking. And this is a perfect dish that's eaten around tiffin time in India. So it's around that four o'clock period, you know, somewhere between lunch and dinner. You have a cup of, cup, cup of coffee or tea in your hand and a little bit of sundal, and you're good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give me a big old thumbs up. You know how that makes me feel. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining us. Please subscribe for more videos. And as always, if you have a comment or suggestion for me, leave it down below. Until my next video, I will see you later. Bye.